Alright, hello everyone. I'm here to review my new brush set. This is almost going to be like a little bit of a first impression, but I am going to test it and everything for you. Um, I have quite a few brush sets that I've had. And I know what I personally look for when I get a new one. So um, here's the packaging. I absolutely love the sleekness of the packaging and everything. Um, your 12-piece essential brush kit. I love that look. We're going to go ahead and open it. Alright. Okay, so here's the full kit or case. I was a little confused. Typically when you get cases like this, it's the bottom that's a lot longer. And um, the top is the short one. It does work with this piece because of this extra um, little, I guess, lift you could say right here. That does help hold the brushes up. I don't mind this as much at all um, compared to some of the other brush sets I have that are going to have these column holders. I've had some that are extremely thick. This is not too thick. It's not too bad. Definitely not with it coming with 12 um, brushes. I've had some that are probably going to be about that big. I don't like that look. It's just too bulky. So everything is packaged really well here well and protected really well. Okay, let me start by saying the first thing I noticed once I've opened them is the smell. You're going to smell um, kind of the plastic smell. That's what I'm assuming it's from, it's from the plastic. It's a very, very strong smell. It's not really that pleasant, but I've had this with several brush sets and it'll go away. So I'm going to go ahead and finish unwrapping everything here. Alright, so the very first one I'm going to talk about is their lip brush. And the reason I'm going to talk about it is if you open them like I did, I was pulling the brushes out from the top. And that popped off, and I was like, you know, what the heck? But you'll notice, compared to all the other ones, this is different. Um, a different uh, handle than all the other ones. They all have, like, a pink wooden handle. And this one has the metal one. This is really awesome. I love this look. You can just turn it around when you're taking it with you or to store it. And you have a little kind of bullet-looking case. I think that is awesome. And then you can put it right back on for that extended look. So there's that. I think that's really cool. That's a really nice added effect. Another thing you'll notice is that this um, brush right here is the one that comes with the kind of a fish netting on it um, to hold the shape of the brush. And that did hold it pretty well. There's really no stray brushes. I actually have not used a brush of this size, um, I can say, in this kind of shape. I've used smaller ones, so I'm very interested in trying this. Um, the only one that seems to have maybe a few loose hairs is this one, and they seem to kind of have straightened up by now, so maybe it was just me taking it out of the package. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk about the kind of brushes that are in here. you got your normal um, foundation brush that you get with most of your kits. you got your blush brush. Again, pretty normal. It feels really soft, of course. Um, powder brush, again, very soft. There's a lot of bristles too, which is really nice. The contour brush. Um, concealer brush. Your eye blending brush. Eye highlight. I don't actually have a brush like this, believe it or not. I seriously, you guys, when I say I have tons of of makeup brushes. I mean, I have tons. I've actually um, been de-stashing some of my makeup. I'm a little bit of a pack rat. I don't think I've ever had a brush like this, so I'm really excited about this. If you can see, it's kind of thicker. Maybe I have, I just didn't know what it was. Um, your eyeshadow um, brush. Eye blending. You know, the lip one. Um, eyebrow brush. And your eye definer. I don't know if I've had one like this either. Okay, so great, great variety of brushes in this set. Very great. Now, normally, I will say normally when I've gotten brushes, the one that I currently use all the time is very similar to this one. So I'm almost thinking this one's going to take it over because the one that I have and love currently has five brushes in it. But I love it. I love the brushes. So that is my main thing that I keep um, in my bathroom on the counter. But this one has all those brushes 
plus more and it's not just um if you've gotten any of the very large like 24 piece brush kits they come with a lot of very similar like brushes and that's one of the things that I, I don't like getting those a lot of the time because they come with about 10 of like the exact same brush exact same shape and everything is kind of like this but it's smaller and they call it an eyeshadow brush and they have this is just all different sizes I can't stand that <laughs> so um, I'm happy to say this comes with the variety. Alright, so I have cleaned some of the brushes here and we're going to try and um, use them. Cleaning them was really easy. There was no brushes coming off or um, bristles rather coming off. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and give um, some of these a shot. I'm going to start with the blush brush. And I'm using my um, MAC Her Blooming Cheek because it's a bit of a darker, brighter blush. Okay, you can see up the pick up there. It blends really well in. So I'm also going to try with a um, kind of liquid or cream blush. So there's that. We'll see how that blends it. Oh, there was a bristle that came off. Not a fan of that. It tends to blend it rather well. Is that another bristle? Is that the same one? Alright. And then I'll do the back of my wrist for the um, shadows. So I'm going to use my um, Lorac palette in Silver Silk so that I can use some of my darker colors and lighter colors here. So for the um, eye highlighter brush, I'm going to just put that right in there. See? Why oh, it's not focusing quite that well, but you can kind of see the pickup on there goes right on. There we go. Okay. We'll try the blending brush. You can see from what's left on there the amount of pigment that stays on the brush. It does blend quite well though. You can also see a few stray hairs on this one. Can you see them? Those down there. Alright, so sadly I think I'm going to have to get these about um, one star down. I do really, really like them, but there's some things that I just can't get over. And let me see, if, let me do a quick comparison. Okay, you shouldn't notice that big of a difference here. The left side is done with the brushes that I currently use, and the right side is done with these. Now, applying, I did notice a big difference. Um, I can do it again real quickly, and maybe you'll see it. On. Do you see? This is a lot more. It makes it more powdery, and I can see powder flaking off, and it's created a lot of powder here in my eyeshadow palette that the other one didn't do. I didn't see a lot of powder coming off of it. Um, yeah, all of them left a lot of powder. Yeah, the other one just, there's no powder coming off, but this one there is. And um, doing these, I both put them in the eyeshadow for a bit. This one, um, which is my current one, I only did two here, and I had to do um, more than three here on the right side to get it to the same kind of consistency. So, I think in that matter, I will be giving it one star down. Um, like another thing you notice is when you go and you flick the powder afterwards, there's a lot of powder coming out on these brushes and I don't have that with my other ones at all. And so I feel as far as like putting the color on, not all of it comes off. Um, a lot of color is still left in the brushes. Like you can see, it's I'm still getting it on my finger here. 
but this one's also making my eyeshadows more um, powdery and whatnot. And there's been a bit of um, the bristles coming off, so they're not my favorite. Um, I think I was hoping for a lot with these because they're so similar to my current set that I was hoping that these would become my main set, but I don't think that's going to be the case. Um, there are some brushes I really like, and I do like the variety of brushes, but I guess we'll have to see.